All right, so Lawrence, you know I championed the uh, Franks acquisition, obviously a blowout for you, and uh, certainly the French is terrific. But I think that some on Wall Street decided that because you didn't give guidance, that somehow that wasn't uh, that was a sign of weakness, and also that the flavor solutions, the food service business. Uh, was weaker than expected. In fact, I would say from these employment numbers that Flavor Solutions is good. And who the hell is giving guidance when you don't know have any idea what's going on? So tell me if I'm right about how the mistake, mistaken analysis has kept the stock from going to 200. Well, Jim, you've got this exactly right. And we've tried to tell everybody who would listen to us about the strength of food at home. Um, and, you know, our second quarter that you just spoke about played out against the course of the backdrop of the global pandemic and incredible uh, economic volatility. But our sales were up 10 percent in constant currency, which is gigantic in the food industry. And adjusted earnings per share were up 27 percent. And a big story there is that food at home has just been very strong. Uh, uh, food service has been uh, struggling, at, you know, obviously with the shutdown orders and, and people rightly wanting to. Uh, avoid uh, 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 too much social contact, but only 20% of our business is really uh, impacted and, and leveraged by the food away from home, you know, the restaurants and, and, and so on. Uh, so you can do the math there, you know, with 80% surging and 20% uh, struggling, uh, it worked out really well for us. Yeah, that's why it was so counterintuitive what they asked during the conference call. A couple of things that I thought that were pretty amazing. The younger generation, it turns out they like to cook and they like flavor, so therefore they like McCormick. One of the things that we've seen is that this uh, global health crisis has accelerated trends that were already in place. So cons younger consumers already were wanting to cook at home uh, more and cook more fresh foods, they use more spices and seasonings. Um, they also are more engaged digitally and, and, uh, and with e-commerce. And all of these trends have been accelerated uh, during this uh, pandemic. And these are things that we have invested in and, and put a lot of marketing muscle behind. And so you know, we really were well positioned for it. Yeah, I, I think we should try to explain to people when you say marketing muscle, you've been very forward in advertising where people are. Uh, Fr uh, Frank's Red Hot Tick talk fitness challenge how's that going <laughs> yeah that was great so on saturday we did a uh, a challenge actually with uh, between uh, shaquille o'neal and uh, ron gronkowski to uh, uh, on social media uh, uh, that you know right now grilling is what's hot and uh, and they featured a, a steak grill off challenge with uh, between uh, between them with uh, mccormick grill mates and our montreal steak seasoning which by the way um, shock uh, one, uh, but that's out on their channels right now. Uh, millions of uh, views. It's a great exposure. It's also benefiting a uh, great social justice cause. I'm glad you mentioned the number of millions because you have a 16 percent increase in household penetration, which means that there are millions of new households uh, using your product and new trialers. Are you getting repeat buyers after they try? <laughs> We are, Jim. Without getting too technical about it, you know, McCormick has gained market share, first of all, in uh, all of our major categories. Uh, we've got millions of new users during this uh, period as people are and people are coming back for more. You know, we, we've had a 16 percent increase in household uh, penetration. And at the same time, the usage rate has gone up 11 percent. So this means that consumers are trying McCormick brands. They like them enough to buy them again. They're clearly having a good experience that for many is going to be uh, their new habit. You, you, I mean, all of us know people have been cooking more and many of us have found it to be easy, fun and economical as well.